Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about how to build a simple simulation VI. In order to build a simulation VI, just right click onto the block diagram, go to the functions palette and then go to express and input. We have to use three options. Uh, what we have to do, uh, let me show you once again, go to express, pin this palette over here. We have to take some kind of input. Then we have to do the signal analysis and we have to do, we have to generate some kind of output as well. So let's suppose we have to take the input. Input can be from the hardware. DAC assistant will help you to get input from hardware. Uh, for the time being, since we are simulating the signal, let's use simulate signal. Place it over here and then you'll have a pop-up. As you have already know that it has a blue border. That means it's a, it's a express VI or an expendable VI. So it has a lot of functionalities embedded within. As you can see, there are a lot of signal types for which you can simulate the signal. Let's suppose we have sign signal, frequency, amplitude, and add some noise, uh, maybe some white noise and click on OK, right? Let's see, uh, let's plot this uh, simulated signal onto the graph to see how my signal looks like. Let me put it over a chart, place it over here, and this is my simulated signal right wire it over here as you can see this is a dynamic data type dynamic data type contains a lot of information uh, uh, in comparison to a static data type so in dynamic data types we have a t0 we have dt and y right so if let's place a while loop uh, to run the code continuously create a stop button enlarge it place it over here and then try to run the code so if i run the code as you can see it is be, you know running very fast let us try to slow it down put a timing wait function over here so that for every iteration every iteration will take this much of time let's put up 500 milliseconds it's in millisecond right millisecond one thing more that i want to convey is the question mark button that you see over here it is known as context help over here you will find any kind of help that you want to have for any relative function for example i want to know about this function more what you can do is click on this button over here and hover onto the element so now you can see the information related to this element which is weights the specified number of milliseconds and returns the value of the millisecond timer right now let us try to run the code once again and as you can see my sinusoidal signal is being simulated the reason why you cannot see it sinusoidal because we are get uh, we are you know uh, taking a lot of samples so if i do it auto scale as you can see uh, that it is a sinusoidal signal with some noise now let's do some kind of signal analysis in order to remove this sound. Go to signal analysis. So we have a lot of options. Every option that is available over here is expandable node or express VI. Let me put up some kind of filter so that we can remove this external noise. Let's take low pass filter. You can uh, take any kind of filter that you want, uh, change any all the parameters. At the for the time being, I'm taking this low pass filter, right? For the low pass filter, as you can see, processing signals through filters and windows. This is Express VI, and all the information is present here. Let me close this window and uh, give this this simulated signal as a as an input to this filter, and take the output, right? Also, since it's a low pass filter, we have to define the low pass cutoff frequency, right? So what we can do is we can create numeric control, which is low pass frequency and wire it over here, right? So this is my lower cutoff. You can even expand, right? So it will automatically redirect uh, your input over here, right? Now we have to create another graph to see how my signal looked like 
looks like after low pass filter. Let me wire it once again. So this is my simulator. Let's rename it to filtered signal, right? Wire it once again to the output and okay. Clean the wire as you go. Now let us try to run the code once again after providing some kind of low pass filter. Let's suppose uh, I'm providing 50 Hertz as the cutoff frequency. And if I run the code, now you can see my signal is much better when it, it in comparison to the simulated signal, right? So you can change the frequency, maybe 10, then you will see a different signal over here. Now it looks more like the sinusoidal wave rather than in comparison to the simulated signal. Right. So this is how we remove some kind of noise from our signal. Now we have done the signal analysis part also in order to generate some kind of output, which is the last step. What we can do is we can provide some output to the hardware. We can build some kind of text uh, related revolving around the signal analysis part. We can play some kind of waveform or generate some kind of reports or write some measurement files. So what we can do is we can write some measurement files since we are generating, since we are uh, acquiring the sinusoidal signal, we can maybe write it down in MS Excel, right? Click on OK. And since it's a express VI, it will take some time. Uh, okay. So it's an, and then you can wire it down to over here. So this is how we build a very basic, simple simulated VI.